we've got to understand something. The Holy Bible exists based upon a covenant system. There was an old covenant and there was a new covenant. Within the Bible. The, the, that was, that, that's how the literature emerges. The literature emerges because of these covenants. Moses was sent to liberate Israel from Egypt and he was then given the first five books of the Bible. The descendants of the, the Mosaic Covenant then had prophets sent to them that led to the emergence of other prophetic books and other books of literature and wisdom and worship like the Psalms and the books of wisdom like Ecclesiastics or um, the book of Job. The new covenant comes with our Lord Jesus Christ and with that new covenant a new literature emerges the four Gospels and the writings of the Apostles. We know that the New Testament came one, from... One second, one second. Now, the New Testament was written in Greek. The Old Testament was originally written in Hebrew. But 200 years before our Lord's birth, before our Lord's birth, the Jews translated the Hebrew into Greek, called the Septuagint. And what happened was, when the Christian community was in Palestine, the Apostles and our Lord was using the Hebrew text. But the moment the church moved out of Palestine into the Jewish diaspora, they started using the Greek Septuagint as their Old Testament. And so the church was very comfortable with using both the Hebrew and the Greek. They didn't have any fetish about the language. They were happy to use either text. The doctrines of the church were there before any of the books were written. If you read 1 Corinthians very carefully, it says, in my earlier letter, which means that 1 Corinthians is actually 2 Corinthians. In the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter, verses 1 to 4, it says, that Luke has put this account together so that Theophilus may know the certainty of what he believes in an ordered account. Which means that Theophilus believed the things in the Gospel of Luke before the Gospel of Luke was written. In the Gospel of John it states that there were many other things that our Lord Jesus Christ did that were not written down and I suppose if the, they were all written down that the whole world could not contain the books that were written. So it's really important for you to understand that Christian doctrines came before the Bible. Which means that discussions about textual variants or discussions about canon of scripture or discussions about translation they are important questions. They're significant questions, but they are not fundamental questions. No fundamental critique of the Christian faith can ever be made from arguments about canon or textual variant or translation. They are weighty questions, they're important questions, but they're not fundamental questions.